Germany is preparing to redeploy 800,000 troops to NATO's eastern flank against Russia. Germany is developing plans to ensure that hundreds of thousands of troops could move along an arterial highway, transiting much of the nation in the event of a war with Russia, one leading national newspaper has reported. The Spiegel reported, citing a secret document obtained by the newspaper, that Berlin expects some 800,000 German and allied NATO troops to use its ports, highways and railways to head eastwards if the West's simmering showdown with Russia turns hot in the near future. It is noted that in the event of a Russian attack on NATO's eastern flank, up to 800,000 troops and more than 200,000 pieces of equipment will need to be redeployed through Germany within three to six months. Preliminarily, the main road for military convoys from west to east is the A2 highway, which runs from the city of Oberhausen in North Rhine-Westphalia to Berlin. According to Der Spiegel, the security of this route, its bottlenecks and alternatives are being studied. In particular, the military has concerns about travelling across the Hohenwart Bridge on the Elbe north of Magdeburg. In the event of sabotage or missile attacks on the bridge, the A2 highway could be completely blocked. It is reported that the Bundeswehr, state authorities and the federal government are continuing to work on a plan to redeploy troops. The height of the Cold War years, when several hundred thousand soldiers, particularly Americans, were stationed on Europe's eastern borders facing Soviet forces is still a long way off. More than 350,000 American troops were deployed in Europe at that time compared with 100,000 today. However, troop reinforcements, the construction of military bases and training grounds, and the positioning of anti-aircraft defense systems have led to continuous activity along the 2,500 kilometers of borders between the Atlantic Alliance and Russia. The military reinforcement of NATO's eastern flank is nothing new. It began in 2014 following Russia's annexation of Crimea. The belief that Russia will eventually seek to extend its expansionism westward of Ukraine is now widely held within NATO. Currently, there's no direct confrontation with the Russians. Almost all their ground forces are deployed in Ukraine, said Joris Van Bladel, a specialist in Russian military matters and a senior associate at the Egmont Institute, the Royal Institute for International Relations in Belgium. Ukraine may destroy Russian 3-ton Fab 3000 bombs in warehouses of Russia. Russian Defense Ministry showed a video of an Su-34 striking Ukraine with a 3-ton Fab 3000 bomb. In response, the presidential administration called on the West to allow enemy aircraft to be destroyed on Russian territory. The head of the presidential administration of Ukraine, Andriy Yermak, noted that the Russian militants are launching these attacks from Su-34 aircraft based at airfields, which Ukraine must destroy to protect its people. Therefore, he emphasized that the country needs permission to strike deep into Russia with Western weapons so that Russian planes no longer drop these bombs. One such decision can save many lives, summarized Yermak, the founder of the charity fund Close the Sky of Ukraine, Lieutenant General Igor Romanenko told how to combat Russia's use of Fab 3000 bombs against Ukraine. He said this on air during a telethon, answering a question regarding a video released by the Russian Ministry of Defense in which an Su-34 aircraft strikes a Ukrainian settlement with a Fab 3000 bomb. This is a gradual increase in efforts, raising our potential for destruction with these types of high-explosive bombs. They have become controllable, more accurate, and due to their belonging, they fly a greater distance. And this causes serious damage to the objects of the defense forces of Ukraine, Romanenko noted. According to him, this problem has existed since last year. But the Russians are increasing the power of use in bombs. That is 250 kilograms, 500, a ton, 1.5. Now this power is increasing to 3,000, the expert noted. Romanenko added that Ukraine knows how to deal with this. We need a tool to implement it. Those bombs need to be destroyed, firstly in warehouses, with accessories, and there were corresponding strikes by our unmanned attack vehicles. Secondly, on the ground, we need to destroy the carriers and these bombs at airfields. Separately, for example, the Su-34, or when these bombs are attached to them, but on the ground, and thirdly, destroy their carriers. 
such as the Su-34 already with bombs in the air, he said. The Lieutenant General gave an example that this could be done effectively with anti-aircraft missile systems such as SAMP-T and Patriot. Romanenko added that we are talking about a range of 100 to 150 kilometers and it would also be possible to destroy them by increasing our air defense potential with the introduction of 4 plus generation aircraft. This is not only the F-16 but also the Gripen, Romanenko noted. Among other things, he also added that Swedish airborne early warning aircraft must be deployed to destroy enemy targets in the air, on land and at sea. This will significantly improve the effectiveness of our weapons, the expert explained.